Welcome and thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'll be showing you how to disassemble your Browning Buckmark 22 in an easy step-by-step -step fashion. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, also make sure you check out my Browning Buckmark trigger modification video where I'll show you how to take your Buckmark trigger from factory to down around two and a half to three pounds. It's a simple, simple modification for those of you who haven't done it yet. If you like what you see in this video, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. I have a lot of good videos to come and I would love to have you out there to see them. So thank you. Enjoy the video. All right, taking apart the buck mark is pretty easy. All we have here are two different Allen wrenches and a flathead. Gun has been safety checked. It's ready to go. Just going to remove the uh, magazine. First thing, we're going to remove a grip using that screw there. Once the screw is loosened, the grips sometimes stick a little bit, just remove it, set it aside. Now, the parts here, your mag release spring and your uh, assembly here for the trigger, that can fall out. Be prepared for it. If it does, it's not an issue. It's not that hard to put back together. Can be, matter of fact, there goes the mag spring and the mag uh, button now. Next step, remove this grip. This one can be a little trickier just because of the nature of how it uh, sits in your slide release and your safety. Make sure you push your safety into the up position to remove this. Alright, it's off as well. Next thing we're going to do is remove the rib. This little piece here came off. This is your slide release. We'll put that on then. That's another easy job. One final rib screw. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's up there just under the hood. All right, rib is off. For those of you wondering, that's just a uh, shell deflector. It's plastic and it just snaps on. Just keeps the shells from flying out too far when you're shooting and there's other people around. All right, next we need to remove the barrel using the larger Allen wrench. Loosen that screw. When reassembling this, do not tighten that screw too much. Reason is, you're screwing into aluminum. Your screw is made of steel. So there is a, there is a potential there to to strip it and that'd be a pain so I'd rather have it 
I know some of you might not like to hear this, but I'd rather it be a little bit loose. It's never loose. I mean, just under tightened and over tightened. Because if you're over tightened, you can ruin it. Under tightened, you know what to expect and you can always tighten it back up. Just my opinion. Do what's going to uh, make you happy though. What you feel is right for you. I know a lot of you have been shooting these for a long time and know a lot about them, so. Alright. This screw can be difficult to take out just because of where it's at. If you had a. It's probably not best to use the Allen wrench in this situation just because of the ergonomics of it. Alright, so that screw is loosening up. There it is. Not sure if you can see that or not. That's your screw. Okay. Once that screw's out, you can now remove your barrel. Okay, barrel's out. Set that aside. Next, you want to remove your, your slide. Okay. So what I do is I put the safety down. And this I just... It's just a matter of finesse. Just kind of work it up. Okay. Slides off. And pop your spring out. That's it. All there is to it. Now you're left with your frame here. Thanks for watching and make sure you check out my trigger modification video. Some Harley guy out.